Hey, hey, welcome in everybody. Happy Monday, Coach Anderson here. And in today's video, I wanna show you a nice preview of tonight's free class. Tonight, we're gonna to be running a class on proportion word problems, which is gonna be something that you should absolutely know for the ASVAB, because if not, well, that's about four to five to six questions that are automatically out the window for you. So pay attention here, and again, sign up for the free class tonight if you're free, that way you can get more live practice. Here we go. First things first, my party people, what do we always do? We don't start off by reading the entire problem. We always start by reading the question. So first things first, we start right here. How many soldiers will be assigned to communications in the expanded unit? So my party people, we have two questions here today. This is the first one. The second half of the video will have the second. But first things first, as always, what are we looking for? And apparently we are looking for how many soldiers are gonna be assigned to communications. So we're gonna go ahead and say the number of soldiers assigned to communications or comms is gonna be blank soldiers. Okay, sounds good. So then up next, what are we gonna do? Well, remember, first step, what do we want? Second step, what do we have? What information do we have that's connected to the number of soldiers assigned to communications? Well, we're gonna go ahead and check the problem out now and see what information is connected. So here we go. We see that it says, in a military unit of 240 soldiers, 60 are assigned to communications tasks. Okay. If the unit is expanded to 400 soldiers while maintaining the same proportion of communications personnel, how many of them are in communications? Okay, so boom. That's what gives it away that we're dealing with a ratio or proportion problem. Notice that we are comparing the same things in the same way. If you join tonight's class, you'll see me say this over and over and over again. Compare the same things in the same way. Notice, I'm gonna highlight this in blue. It says 240 soldiers, 60 are for communications. So let me write that down. So 240 total. And then we have 60 are in communications or comms. Okay, so how is this going to help us? Now read the next little bit of information. Watch this. Notice that it says, if the unit is expanded to 400 soldiers now. So what does that mean while maintaining the same proportion? Well, remember this. A ratio is just a comparison. So the 60 folks assigned to comms out of the 240 total personnel, that's gonna be the same ratio, the same fraction, the same comparison. Whatever 60 is to 40, which is a quarter, that same comparison is gonna be made on the other side like this. We have 400 soldiers now, so now we have 400 if we change it to 400 total. How many soldiers would we have for comms? Right there. Again, what we're doing here is comparing the same things in the same way. So if it still doesn't make sense, take a look. We are comparing the number of personnel assigned to comms compared to the total number of soldiers over here. Again, the ones assigned to comms is what we're looking for compared to the new 400 total. Does that make a little more sense there, my party people? Compare the same things in the same way. Once we have that, we're good to go. We can cross multiply and divide. That's one way to do it. Or we can look for ways to leverage some simplification or mental math or whatever we can do. But check this out. If we were to cross multiply and divide, we would take a little longer than we need to. We would have 240 times X, which is 240 X. Then we have 60 times 400, which would end up being what? That'd be 24,000. So, okay, we have that. Booyah. And then from here, we just cross multiplied. Now we would divide both sides by the 240. Boom. And what we notice is that we are going to have that cancellation and then X equals, okay, cancel out the 240, leaving us with 100. 24,000 divided by 240, that's gonna give us 100 soldiers. And there we go. There's the answer, it is B. But if that didn't make so much sense that you are completely ready to take over proportions, well then we're gonna do another problem right now. But don't forget, Again, we have a free class tonight, my party people. So make sure to click the link in the description or my bio, wherever you're watching this, because it's free registration 
and you get my free practice test as well with video solutions. So you can actually learn from every mistake instead of just bragging about the score you got, not knowing how to repeat that success. So let's go ahead and go to problem number two. So here we go. Same thing again. First things first, read the question. How many cups of peanut butter will you need? Again, how many cups of peanut butter will you need? So I'll say blank cups of peanut butter. Okay, let's see what information we have. I see that it starts with a recipe for homemade dog treats calls for three cups of whole wheat flour to every two cups of peanut butter. Okay, so let's write that down. That is a ratio. That's a comparison amongst values. So we have three cups of whole wheat whole wheat right there and that's compared to this is another way to write a ratio two cups of peanut butter so let's highlight where that came from right over here and so this is another way to write a ratio we can say three cups to two cups or we can actually write the word to two or we could write it as a fraction all of them are just the same so now that we have that comparison we have one more bit of information that's given to us right here and it says if you want to make a larger batch using nine cups of whole wheat flour, how many cups of peanut butter will you need? Well, let's go ahead and write this down. We want to understand that if we use nine cups of whole wheat right there, well then how many cups of peanut butter will we need? So here's a nice little trick, another way that you can solve proportions. Again, it all falls under the main idea, compare the same things in the same way. Write this down if you haven't done so already. Do yourself a favor because once you know that you're comparing the same things in the same way, you know that you can scale things up and down. What does scaling mean? Well, what's the change from three cups of whole wheat to nine cups of whole wheat? Remember that ratios deal with multiplication and division. How do you go from three cups to nine cups using multiplication or division? That's gonna be a factor of times three, right? Yeah, watch this. If we're scaling this up by times three, well, to make sure that we keep comparing the same things in the same way, or keeping this recipe nice and good, we need to do the same thing over here. Multiply by three, and two times three is six, and boom, you would be done. The other way to do this would be to set up that proportion, and you would get the same exact answer. So knowing how to do that, is so important because you can notice those convenient situations to give yourself a much easier time. So let me show you the proportion here, set up and solved. That way we can move forward and have ourselves a good day and I'll see you in class tonight. So we have, watch this, we have three over two. So let me write this right next to myself. Three over two, whole wheat to peanut butter equals, and I'll do again, whole wheat to peanut butter and I'll pretend I don't know what it is, nine, over x, that's what I'm looking for. Now that we're here, let's zoom on in, cross multiply and divide, and I'll show you that we'll still get six. So here we have three times x, three x, two times nine, 18, then divide by three on both sides, and we get x equals six. And there we are. So my party people, if this video helped you out, I'm really excited to see you join our free class tonight. Until then, my party people, keep raising those scores, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, it's Coach Anderson. You made it to the end, which means you're serious about raising your score. So go ahead, join us on a free class. We have a free ASVAB class once a week for two hours. That way I can help you continue to raise your score, get that job you deserve, and then enlist in the way that you want. I got your back, my party people. Register now, sign up, show up, and let's ace the ASVAB.